10, a relaxing cruise to Mexico turns into a nightmare. Two women were on a scooter excursion when they were injured by a hit and run driver. And now they're stuck in a hospital in Mexico, wondering how they're going to get home and pay for treatment. Fox 13's Jennifer Veglis is in our newsroom tonight. So Jennifer, now one of the mothers is actually trying to get them back. How's that working out? Yeah, so I spoke to one of the mothers um, that uh, over Zoom today, um, waiting for her flight to Cozumel to board at TPA after getting the runaround from multiple agencies. She's hoping to take matter into her own hands. This evening, a beautiful sky at Port of Tampa. It's where Natalia Cuesta and her girlfriend Ashley Gibson departed from on a carnival cruise last Monday. But Natalia's mother, Maria Ortega, says right now, things are anything but sunshine and rainbows. All I want is them back home. Natalia and Ashley are stranded at San Miguel Hospital in Cozumel. My daughter had a broken arm. Her bone was sticking out and they just wrapped it up because she had no insurance. And Ashley. They've been trying to operate her um, on her foot and they keep telling her that it's not a surgery, but it's a surgery to clean her foot. Ortega says it all started Tuesday when she got a phone call from Carnival that the two never reboarded the ship. Hours later, learning the couple rented scooters from a third party and were involved in a hit and run. I've been fighting with uh, immigration, the hospitals to get them back to the United States. The issue, the couple can't fly home without a passport. Carnival cruises don't require them on some trips, but they are strongly encouraged. To make matters worse, Ortega says the hospital is demanding ten to $20,000 to release Ashley. They will not let them leave until they come up with the money in case the insurance does not cover. Now, Ortega is begging the U.S. Embassy for a lifeline to allow them to fly home. I need my babies home. Please help me get them home. Now, I did reach out to a Carnival spokesperson about this. They tell me it's in Car Carnival Cares team and Port Agent is in contact with the family to assist with travel documents and other needed items. I also reached out to the U.S. Embassy but have not heard back. In the newsroom, Jennifer Vaglis, Fox 13 News.